I think the key to successful marriage is love. Why? The key to a successful marriage is leading each other to Jesus Christ. I think the key to a successful marriage is trust, honesty, unconditional love, and faith. Um, the key to a successful marriage is just not getting married. <laughs> the key to a successful marriage is trust. The key to a successful marriage is having fun with your partner. I think that the key to a successful marriage is communication. The key to a successful marriage is honesty and communication. I think the key to a successful marriage is that they trust each other and that they're not always fighting. Uh, based on my many years of being single, I would have to say that the key to a successful marriage is humor. And like in addition to always remember that marriage is between three people. And like I don't mean that in like a polygamous way. Because that's not really successful in my, in my eyes. But more in like uh, marriages between uh, the husband, the wife, and God. What's the key to a successful marriage? Communication. Uh, the key to a successful marriage is uh, selflessness. Being able to give to the other person instead of thinking about yourself. key to a successful marriage is understanding each other. I believe the key to a successful marriage is finding someone that you love unconditionally. Key to successful marriage, passion. Okay. Key to sex and successful marriage, in my opinion, it's probably communication. Key to successful marriage is communication and respect. The, the key to a successful marriage is not one person leading the other, but walking together through life. The key to a successful marriage is to marry your best friend who makes you happy and someone you can be yourself around. What's the key to successful marriage? <laughs> Great question. I think the key to successful marriage is a good sense of humor. Christian marriage is a beautiful thing. When we look for the evidence in the sacrament scriptures, we look for Paul in his letter to the Ephesians, Ephesians 5 25. Husbands, love your wives as Christ handed himself over for his bride, the church. It seems so hard to live out in today's society. Look to the beauty, and we think sometimes I can never do something like that. I could never make that myself. And in the sacrament of marriage, how could I ever live up to that potential? Yet, we find evidence of that through the keys to marriage. Take, for example, art. If we'd given up on art in the first century, we would never have Michelangelo's painting of the creation of Adam in Sistine Chapel. It is possible we strive for greatness. So, one key I think important for us to remember to strive for this great thing is that of sacrifice. You see, Christ sacrificed his life for his bride, the church, and she today listens, and that fidelity forms a great bond that allows us to access the heavenly kingdom. Christ's sacrifice is the key for both spouses, for both husband and wife. One of the weddings I went to with my friend, they used the scripture passage of the gospel of Jesus' crucifixion. Why would you choose that on one of the happiest days of your life? And it was precisely because of sacrifice. We must get outside of ourselves to love the other. And if we fully love the other and we fully give of ourselves, that is the key. Listening and sacrificial love. Because love is most expressed through sacrifice. Those, I believe, are some of the most fundamental keys to marriage that we as a society want to avoid.